From violence to stability, that's the direction one activist wants to take Kansas City's east side in, and he hopes an entertainment district could help to make that happen. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plague joins us live now with details on that project. Sarah? If everything goes according to this activist's plan, his family entertainment district would be here in this wooded area that the Parks and Rec Department already owns to turn it into something with a lasting impact. These are all places that they're not even wanted anymore. Community outreach organizer Pat Clark asked the city's Parks and Rec Department, what amenities do teenagers on the east side have in their own neighborhoods? What is there to do? His answer, nothing. Well, maybe if we create them a place to go within the place that they come from, you know, we, 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 can, we can work on longevity. Clark presented his vision for the first time to the Parks and Rec Board, the Oak Park Entertainment District. It would be built here in this wooded area near Emanuel Cleaver and Elmwood. These are the renderings from architectural design firm The Olsen Studio, with ideas for an outdoor pavilion, indoor and outdoor pools, a game lawn, classrooms and meeting spaces, bowling, skating and more. Wish it happened when I was a kid, you know, but it's for the kids that need it now the most. Clark's son, Denerl Chiefy Clark, says growing up in the inner city, there wasn't much for he and his friends to do outside of playing sports. We hung out down at the plaza, you know. Wasn't nothing to do down there but go to the movies or just hundreds of people hanging out, you know, and that's all that's doing is causing ruckus. Clark is working on funding now. It could cost $25 million. The Parks and Rec Department is uncertain how much they could chip in. People want to be able to stay in their neighborhoods, to be, to, to be entertained, to do the things that they want to do. And so uh, this is uh, a great look and hopefully something that can, uh, can actually happen. Clark says this is a solution to help turn the community around, to go from violence to stability. We won't have this problem 20, 30 na years from now. You know, our kids won't start disappearing because another kid took their lives. Clark said he's talked to a lot of the neighbors and they are in support of his project. Again, this, in, this is in the beginning phases and he hopes to meet with the Parks and Rec Board again soon. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.